you what's poppin y'all it's chase more reviews here finally got another flashback review coming y'all's way uh i know for the original for those of y'all that have watched the original iron uh solomon versus rum nitty flashback review i talked about doing them just on fridays uh i'm definitely gonna stretch that out you know i'm not gonna leave these reviews just for fridays because honestly this is the shit that i personally like to put on the channel um old battle reviews battles that you know people love as classics but really break it down uh to the detail show y'all why why i have uh who i have winning but more importantly maybe highlight some of the skill sets that aren't originally peeped you know a lot of times as fans we can remember the quotables uh the shit that sticks out the most uh of course but you know you go back to these battles you get so many gems from what you forget watching the last time bars you haven't heard bars that just hit you again like that was low-key a haymaker it just didn't evolve into being a, a talked about quotable so today guys we're gonna do ill will versus calico rbe fucking classic uh two one of the best battles in both uh ill will and calico's catalog and one of my favorite battles of all time so just a little round by round breakdown uh i don't call them bar for bar breakdowns because i do not break down every single line as i know some people do for their bar for bar reviews but this is pretty in depth i'm gonna go into things that happen in the battle things that i feel like one may have done better than the other um and just give it a real breakdown and give you all my winner so without further ado let's hop into this battle before we get into the first round start breaking it down just a little backstory for the battles that i like to do uh coming in uh this was in 2018 towards the end of it in december cal uh this year didn't battle that much that year he had battled briz at the top of the year uh that wasn't really that fantastic of a battle pretty low quality battle one of the more disappointing from a uh, summer madness six so there wasn't a lot in terms of going in, you know, Cal doesn't battle as often as other people, we we know that, so, you know, there's not as much a uh, pattern to look at coming in, he had battled 10 to 11 months earlier, probably, you know, I had him winning, uh, I actually had him losing in a close debatable with Briz, but the battle can go either way, it's, it's kind of a shit battle, and then coming in for Will, Will earlier this exact same month battled T-Top uh, on Gnome, or at least the battle dropped earlier that month, uh, 3-0 did t-top greasy one of the better wins of ill will's career which is also a grudge match and then the month before he had battled big t uh on the i believe that was the mook verb card yes so this battle here was supposed to take place on lift uh lift his soul five um there was some problems with the building they ended up having to move out early which is why when you watch the battle as we all know it happened in like a parking lot uh, kind of like this weird, I almost want to say volume-ish setting, but you know, I don't want to, I know RBE is its own setting thing, but I'm trying to give, for those that haven't seen the battle, kind of a perspective of what it looked like. Small room, small little crowd, really kind of brings it back to the essence of battle rap, and I think one of the best, big reasons that this battle is so amazing is that aesthetic and that theme that it has, kind of being gritty, parking lot, just a little, you know, cypher crowd around. So, without further ado, let's get into the round-by-round -round breakdown for this battle. So the battle starts on Ill Will round one. Uh, he has opener about beating day. I beat uh, playing his day, playing his day. Uh, he said, I'll get your BMF, then blacker face. That's how your daddy that. Uh, you know, Calico's father, black face. That was dope. Uh, asking about this shotgun, I'll get someone in the crowd shot. So, you know, some real, some cool jabs to start out. Nothing too, too heavy. Uh, bowling with the bumpers. Your pen don't got that gutter feel. That was hard. Uh, he's got a bar here talking about I'll punch him into shit, go in his dentistry. Uh, if they don't, if they gotta identify the body by the teeth, I'll cut off the dentistry. Fire. That was a fucking haymaker. Uh, Shawshank going through shit with the pen. You know, cool. So, you know, somewhat heard that before. Um, if you see ill with grams, it ain't dementia. And this is where everything starts picking up because, you know, that's a haymaker. So if you see ill with grams, it ain't dementia. Uh, this bitch come easy like drunk sex. 45 still scratching like funk flex fire uh i think will's first round is one of the, it's just fantastic it's peak ill will going on here uh you don't try you don't train for ill you just die from it you know that was solid uh he had a flip about jc's criticized the form the shot perfect if someone criticizes this form it was the grand jury his setup was kind of crazy though it was like it's this this gun is damn fury <laughs> it was so ridiculous but after that though he goes into a little bit of a dry spot you know i don't have a lot of lines to quote because it is a dry spot but 
definitely, you know, a little weak, uh, a small dry spot for Ill Will in the first. And to end it out, he said, Ill way over your head. Chemtrails, that was fucking fire. And uh, talk about how Cal lives in Atlanta. He's like, oh, Atlanta. Oh, so you Southern Cal acting like it won't rain there. Yeah, that was dope too. So some of the bars around, I thought Ill with Graham's Dementia, uh, still 45, still scratching like Funk Flex, Ill over the head chemtrails. I think all that shit was fucking dope. Uh, absolutely amazing first from Will to open the battle. Uh, to get into your round one for Calico. Uh, he starts out with an angle about hosting Will's first battle and putting Calico on. We know how Cal is. There's not as much stuff to specifically quote by line, but it doesn't do it justice to how good he's rapping, the topics that he's touching on, uh, the real talk. So, you know, even though I might not be able to you say a double entendre, I'm, I'm going to try my best to explain just how good some of these rounds are by Calico. Uh, he is a flow pattern in the beginning. Uh talk about chopper take his out his clothing like he modeling for yay uh charlemagne gonna give him the donkey of the day uh the way that he let it up momentum wise even though it's not that crazy if you, you know go watch the battle for yourself either before or after watching this review and you'll see what i'm saying uh to build momentum and get a line like that you know he gets the reaction for it by the end which is built up by his flow his cadence you know he really earns the reaction at the end of about a eight to ten bar build up uh have his mama at the funeral like uh he says son this ain't will have his mama at the funeral like this don't feel real that was fucking fire uh i'm shocked by the way i was treated i was all y'all's plug and while he's doing this he's really rapping his material it's not just straight spoken word he's really rapping it uh whack his baby now he can't call it no truce to that he had a timberwolf scheme in there and just overall his flow and cadence was incredible uh, first round, close round, every round here seems pretty close. I gave Will the first pretty comfortably. Uh, even though it is close, I think it is Will's round to take. I just think he had too many quotable bars to go with. And while Cal, I think, was rapping his material better and it sounded phonically better, I just think Will had more to say in this round. Dope round from both, but I got Ill Will 1-0 going into the second. And then start off the, the second here uh, on Ill Will again. He starts out with a makeup scheme. Uh, I've heard a lot, a lot, a lot of makeup schemes. Now, obviously, the, I'm gonna, there is some leeway because this battle was in 2018. So there is some concepts that I know probably seem really, really overused now that didn't back then. Uh, so, you know, you even, but T-Top just spit a makeup scheme against Sharon and they reacted for it. So some, some things are always gonna, you know, get reaction. But a mascara, eyeliner, you, you guys know how makeup schemes go at this point. So that was cool to start out. Talking about he's going to Calabasas, no cal the bass is gonna be what you sleeping with sleeping with the fishes i think he said in the setup so that was pretty cool uh i will fuck this pussy a bad blue waffle that is fucking disgusting i don't want to explain that bar look it up for y'all goddamn selves but it was cool uh trying to he had a buck on the phone trying to explain yourself bar which completely missed uh, and that started a little bit of a dry spot actually of the second being ill will's worst round of the battle still a pretty solid round but you know, that dry spot in the middle after missing that bar killed him for like a, about a minute of the round uh, until he hit the, um, talk about uh, if I catch you shorty, I'll light her leg up through the window. It's a Christmas story. That was a haymaker and it got him back on track to end this round. Uh, Pontiac used to snatch the buffs off Detroit dudes for fun. You know, the, the glasses Cal wears, uh, Detroit uh, dudes be wearing that. Talk about he's going to beat up his mans, and if Cal assists, he's going to get some rough hands. In my opinion, probably the best Cal assist bar that's been said. I know, you know, Chess just said one versus Cal, but I've heard a lot of different Cal assist flips. To me, that was one of the most fire ones. And the last bar I have here, possibly maybe Ill Will's best bar of this battle. Doctors come in, talk about Cal being in the hospital. Doctors come in and tell his family it's third and 20. You know he passed. So, dope round by Ill Will, but Cal goes here. Talk about... It's a robbery, and I just want my style back. This DE, good with no safety. Miles Jack starts a whole football scheme here. He watched me drop back in coverage. He thinks that I'm running man. He sees the gun. He's going to do the running man. Just the the flow. like I, I You know, you see be happy to, to quote it because it's just such, such, such skillful the way he puts it together. And, you know, even then, I think we were getting into the more lyrical era where we're all a little more, you know, strict on guys for their pen. As time goes on, even though we all have to appreciate all styles, not just lyrical styles, but even the real talk guys need a little bit of elevation, you know, not to be completely outdated. And Cal is a master of that, combining some of the elements of nowadays battle rap, but always staying true and unique to his style. Um, 
He said, nowadays, they crack, these dudes crack a million views and think the mission's over. Little shit like that, you know, I think that's real talk, and I just think it's good. Builds up after a while. Talk about, they was they were hating on him. Uh, what part of the game is that? I'm starting to feel like y'all glitching, fire. Uh, come in, I want the PS4 and the Xbox. I got 2Ks on both systems. Punching on cam like Joe Mixon. Uh, this is around when the Joe Mixon incident happened. Uh, I spent the last month, I, I, once again, I can't do it justice the way he builds up to some of these bars, but I spent the last month playing games, smoking streams while he trained for the Olympics. That was fucking crazy. One of Cal's best moments from the battle. Uh, 40 bang, Sean Kempham. And right before his round ends, they get in a little bit of a scuffle. They got a reset, just some pushing and shoving, yelling, you know, battle rap shit. Uh, you know, cool, dope second from both. Cal second, fantastic. Obviously, I got Cal taking this round pretty clear. Say, uh, by a larger margin than I had Will taking the first, but I think both of them pretty decisively got these rounds. Uh, just incredible, just a master class of rapping from Cal. Um, so I had this battle 1-1 going into the third, and uh, now to cover the third round. Top of the third on Ill Will, uh, talking about, he starts out with a little angle about uh, he's got a homie, Devious, I guess is his name, and saying that Cal took the whole landslide movement and the phrase from his homie, Devious. Uh, talks about how landslide stands for lyrics and nice delivery, spitting like I do every day. Um, he starts with a... And then he goes on into WebMD. Uh, you could have checked ill on site. That was definitely one of the first bars that really landed for the round. I like that one uh, myself. Uh, ain't no prints left in the city, but the but the doves cry really not a lot it was really just a setup bar but phonically it just sounded really good uh that for whatever reason that bar always sticks in my head so i want to put it out there uh and then it ends it all off with uh wet him and his team up talk about shooting him y'all will go from landslide to mudslide that was fire i like that a lot had an angle about uh cal doing quest mccody dirty uh something about a league you know how it goes with some of the little stories it just I didn't buy into it too much. Now, when it comes to... And it kind of was presented as like a quick just move past it personal. Um, then goes into a comedy angle about Cal skinny dipping. Acts it out. Talks about, you know, panning the phone in his mans. When he was going to the pool. We all know the Cal skinny dipping situation. Uh, so yeah, that that was definitely cool. So it was a pretty, pretty comedic, you know, pretty solid. And then right here towards the end of the round, he has his best bar, the third. Uh talking about the respect that he's earned the brand that he's built and he said i'm surf moms i created a wave myself that was fucking fire real definitive paid it off and it's just the type of thing you hear towards the end of a battle where you're like man this dude has been great for fucking three rounds you know and he has a hitman call out at the end which kind of missed talk about loaded up it was a flip uh doctor's gonna have to sew you up instead of brother hold you up and it, it was whatever at the time you know Really hope we see Hitman versus Ill Will this year or next year. But it was dope. So pretty good round on to Cal's third. Angle uh, talking about Will being a hater. Saying he found someone with his own name to be his hype man. I believe Ill Will's hype man either uh, has a similar name to him or the same name or something like that. So that was pretty funny. Even Will liked it. Uh, talked about him clip click hopping and said he probably pulled up with Jay Mills. That was pretty fucking funny. This is around. He's really referring to Ill Will joining Team Homie, of course. Uh, had a flow pattern. Ends it with, I brought Visine, I want to make it clear. So for all y'all that have seen the battle, you know, you know the type of flow pattern that I'm talking about there. Uh, then Cal, ladder dropping all out of the chopper, this bitch heroic. That was fucking fire, I like that. Uh, you gotta prove it to yourself, but you still spreading 20s on Instagram, on the gram. Uh, you gotta prove it to yourself before you show us, I like shit like that. And then ends it uh, towards the end talking about tell Trump we'll fuck with him if he puts the ball uh, the wall between Detroit and Pontiac, not Mexico. You know, that was funny. So, you know, great, pretty solid round from both. I think Cal's best round was the second, and I think Will's best round was the first. I think the third is just some, not their worst rounds, but just dope rounds from both. Uh, really debatable. I think this is where the battle lies. Me personally, I edged Ill Will the third round. Um, they were both performing well, both rapping well, even though I think Cal was a little more fluid, but when you have uh, lines like the, I'm surf moms, I created a wave myself, the landslide to mudslide, I do appreciate a little bit of the depth on the writing a little more than that, but you really can't go wrong either way with who you choose this round, it's a classic battle for a reason, so I personally edged Ill Will 2-1, but absolute masterclass showing from both of these gentlemen.
And that will wrap it up here for this flashback review. One of my personal favorite battles, uh, you know, obviously, as I said, I got ill will to one edge, uh, first and third, but can't go wrong either way. If you got Cal second and third, I completely understand. Uh, going forward, though, guys, let me know, you know, like, comment, subscribe, uh, but definitely comment down below or just let me know by my Twitter in the description. You can tweet at me. What other battles would you guys like to see reviewed? Uh, yeah, uh, you know, going forward, whether they're flashback battles, do you want to see me review stuff as it drops on the app? Uh, but particularly for the review battles, if you have a classic that you want uh, just a little more justice done to, some more bar for bar breakdown, go back. You know, I'm totally for it. Uh, I got some other stuff cooking up in terms of flashbacks, some flashback events, going over some of the more key events in history. Um, but yeah, guys, this is my favorite type of shit, the flashback stuff, going back and uh, kind of creating a little log here that you can look at and you know, follow up if you want to see a certain battlers, you know, historic battles, you know, eventually I want to have five to 10 of Calico's best battles ever all reviewed on this channel. So you can go and see my opinion on it. Same with Ill Will, same with all these top tiers. Uh, you know, I just love battle rap, man. So like I said, comment down below, recommend any other battles that you want to see uh, from the past uh, reviewed. But once again, y'all, it's been Jay Small Reviews here. Uh, I'm out. Peace.